Hey, people injured here, whatever you want. Caldera's a fine red blue side. Celestia, also known as Lassia, with a Warlock, a melee spellcaster that can leap into combat with some powerful disruption, support, and offense. This is the same Han Elite Scheme, recolored gold. Eldar being as fancy as they can be. On the red side, oh, they have some competition over here. Olev with a very colorful Ravenna Alpha, tunneling hero with awesome mobility, strong offense, and some support too. Begins with a ranged weapon but can get specialized melee gear. There you see one of his tunnels over it. Double Hormagaunts for Olev should be fun. Some double Dire Avengers too can chuck grenades on their faces, maybe. Looks like they have bare arms with tattoos. But I'm pretty sure they don't. Howling Banshees hit the field. Power melee weapons, they will be a threat to a low level Ravana for sure. Here's the second Hormagaunt brood. Gonna want some toxin sacks up early, I think, against Banshees and a Warlock. Meanwhile, west side, Ravana was trying to get into close combat with his Dire Avengers, and they were not into it. Meanwhile, east side, Destructor's gonna fly out here, I guess. They're nicely bunched up. There we go. Oh, nicely hit. So look at that. Half hit points, more than half, disappearing from these Hormagaunts. Now they need to run, because this guy will uh, pick them off. I thought she'd missed her opportunity there last year to get that Destructor. Ravenna now needs to be careful. Banshee's moving in. Meanwhile, Warlock is going to get into a ruckus in the mid. Toxin sacks are up, by the way. And there it is. Meanwhile, the Banshees do get in on the Ravenna. Looks like Olev was paying attention to the mid, as I was. Warlock is most likely going to need to flee. Just disrupting his cap here. Throws out the Destructor and leaves safely. Could have maybe got the cap on this VP, but I think that was worth doing. Because now these guys can come in. Banshees have the aspect of fleetness. That's because, of course, Tyranids can't get a unit with vehicle armor up in tier 2. Well, they can get the Tyrant Guard who can go into a shield wall. But otherwise, if you have a bunch of power melee and plasma and stuff, you'll do pretty good against Tyranids up into tier 3. Some power melee kicks now. Banshees are all alone here. Specials going in though. And special attacks win melee fights. Ravenna now joining in. Banshee stayed in maybe a little bit too long there. Might drop and they do drop. Lassia had them upgraded too. It's a big loss. Here comes a shuriken cannon and a warrior brood on the field. They're inside the tunnel now. There they are. These guys have power melee, can jump into combat as well. Some good passive disruption. Lassia now needs to play defensively. And Olev, smelling blood, going for power maybe. Here comes the Warlock. The Warlock's going to need to do a lot here, I think. Keep these two nids at bay before the Shuriken hits the field. Here it is. Needs to get to the front, of course. There's that Crippling Poison with the Warlock jumping into the Warriors, who turn to engage. Ravenna could perhaps be forcing close combat on those Dire Avengers there so they can't shoot those shurikens at his warriors. But he's just too busy looking good. Formagants scare off the Warlock. That was some good play by the Warlock there. Held the warriors up. Ravenna, I think, should have gone into melee with these fellas. Most likely would have made them retreat. They do both have their aspect, which means potential grenades. The shuriken is not going to join the front lines of the combat. It's going to bash power. The Avengers having a tough time against those Ravner attacks. Still not trying to get into melee with these guys. Scared of the, the, the grenade coming in, maybe? It should be relatively easy to dodge with a single entity. As you run in, here are the warriors. Still have some health missing. More Banshees on the way now for Lassia. Hormagons take that Western contested power. Here comes a grenade. And here comes another one. Oh, maybe should have waited for those Hormagons to get a bit closer. They kind of ran into it. Ravenna falls over and a Hormagon died. What's going on over it? Shuriken getting swarmed. The Barbed Strangler is on the field will help controlling this warlock and just as I said that of course the warlock jumps on the warriors 
structure there. Cormagants though with adrenal glands now. Oh, looks like I got rid of them. Sorry, can scare them off. Warriors though stay in play. Can they get a shot off here? It's gonna be tough because he's gonna might jump on them soon. Howling Banshees are back with a vengeance. Instantly gets suppressed by the Barb Strangler. And now taking shots, they could also get crippled here. Barb Strangler keeping, yeah, keeping them focused and controlled. Omegaunt's getting into retreat path as well and take one out. Warlock is really putting his weight here though. There's that cripple, there's the Destructor again. And Warlock retreats, what is this? Dire Avengers going for the west side, there's a tunnel. There's Hormagaunts and a Ravener. Might be a bad day for these Dire Avengers over here, they're gonna get chased down I think. Oh, Ravener's gone melee mode, Crippling Talon. Reduce speed by 40%. Gives the Ravener more melee skill, more DPS and more health. Hardened Carapace too with that nice burrow can help counter the shuriken which is doing some work over here 436 to 440 on the vps as the players think about their tier twos last year thinking about a wraith lord i would think olev doing well on map here shuriken got caught does escape banshee's in on the ravena but can more than stand up to them now at level two with some war gear and there's Toxin Miasma. Toxic Miasma. 10 piercing damage per second in a radius 7. I think this is the one that drains his health. Drains his energy rather. Rather than having a set duration kind of thing. Grenade. Uh oh. And then retreat 3 Rome Grenade. I guess it did something. Took out one of the Hormogorts. Dire Avengers do drop one though. Here comes the Warlock maybe to clean up over here. Destructor. Liberal usage of that. Sometimes you see warlocks kind of forget to use it or just forego using it after the first few engagements. They really drop off their destructive discipline. Always keep up your destructive discipline. Hive node put up by the Ravana Alpha. Not something you see that all that often. When you activate it, it damages nearby enemies very slightly. And also provides an ingoing and outgoing range damage debuff. So you're not doing much damage while you stand in it shooting at stuff, but obviously it's protecting your stuff as they melee. Perhaps a power point as you see here. 375440. Barb Strangler doing some work. You see the node is not activated right now. Does have a cooldown. Not sure what the cooldown is. Banshees with those power melee kicks. Trying to take on these Hormagaunts. Doing a good job. Might be able to wipe them out here. No, I think the Barb Strangler helped them and saved them. And there we see the Hive Node again activated. Does it slow you down to it? It might slow you down or something. Pretty sure it still has that ranged, outgoing ranged debuff as well. Lassier's Warlock hasn't leveled up yet. Did a whole bunch of damage to Hormagaunts and stuff with Destructor, but... I guess hasn't got that many model kills. Raven Alpha's level 3. There's the Burrow. Counts as infiltrated while this is going on. This one. And then none of these guys can see this Ravener being sneaky. Does it do damage when it strikes? I wasn't paying attention. I don't think it does. Good disruption, as you can see. Good knockback strength. 336 to 440. Olev goes tier 2. We see a Bright Lance on the way, which is a strange purchase for Lassia. Very strange purchase. There it is can no, it wasn't cancelled, it went in. It's an anti-vehicle weapon or anti-large target. It does have the Scorch Beam, which can lower the defensive defenses of a target. But uh you'd expect the Shuriken Cannon to stay in play. There's that Bright Lance now. No tier 2 units for Lassia, doesn't have the resources for him. Does get that central VP going and the Warlock with a good decap here can now attack these warriors. 
Don't think Lassie was paying attention and should have engaged there, I think. But most likely wanting to retreat to not have to pay attention while all this stuff is going on. Maybe a grenade. I think the grenades have been used. Banshee's chopping up former Gaunts and getting chopped up themselves. Maybe wiping out and they do wipe out. The second Banshee squad going down. Last year keeping them in that fight a little bit too long again. Especially with Toxin Mi Toxic Miasma and a Melee Ravener as well. Doing some work this guy. Level 4. 300 to 440. 1 to 1 cap bit. And it's the third Banshee squad on the way. I mean, it's not that it's a bad choice to be on the field. You just got to look after him a bit more. We have a drop. Ravener's coming in from the Ravener Alpha. Here we are. Awesome squad to be able to drop in. Range damage, melee damage, disruption. Warlock is very annoyed at this Ravener Alpha right now. There's a Burrow Strike from the Ravener Brew. Good special there. Ravener might be in a bit too deep. Nope, Banshees do not engage in time. And the Ravener Alpha gets away. What about these guys though? Eat a special. They're going to take some losses here. Or are they? Am I lying? I'm lying. They get away with 95 hit points on three models. You think Assault Marines are bad at getting away. Or good at getting away rather. Tier 3 for Olev. 2-4 rate to 440. Pushing that tech advantage here. Banshees again getting controlled by the Warriors. And they're getting their Thorax Swarm. Electroshock grubs and desiccates a larvae, I think. I can't remember what that thing does. Will this thing tell us? No. Maybe we'll see it. Usually you just see the, the uh, electroshock grubs used. Not the desiccator things. That's what they're called now, desiccator things. Eldar capping mid with banshees. Here comes a sneaky Ravenna Alpha. Just burrowing through every, the solid rock. They're trying to take on this tunnel over here. How many attacks does it take? Five, maybe? No? One more attack, Warlock. The Witchblade of Kernus in play here. How harass. Gonna get at least one generator, I think. There we go. Maybe some more. Ravenna Alpha still being sneaky, looking for the Shuriken, I think. Which, of course, is now a Bright Lance, so it's not a Shuriken at all. Maybe Lassie was expecting some very quick Carnifexes. I mean, we might see one soon. Lots of power for Olev. Bright Lance trying to get shots on something. It's the Ravenna. Grenades going off. Former Gaunts do get away. And did they bash? They did bash. One to one cap here. Tyranid's moving to the mid. Ravener Brood still in a default state with those ranged weapons. Banshees need to be careful. Oh, Autot coming in from Lassia. And support these Banshees with some damage resistance, of course. And some heals and other good stuff. Ravener Brew trying to burrow away. Taking damage as they do so, but looks like they're going to escape again without a loss, maybe. They do. 192 to 424 on the VPs. We are plagued by Tyranids. Decent grenade over there. Leveling these fellas, and might see another one for these Hormagons as they try to flee. Ethereal Slash as well. Nope, no second grenade. Autark just jumped on one and killed it there, it looked like. Did not try and finish the cap. It is a Carnifex on the way for Olev. Bright Lance is already in play to try and deal with it. But that's all. That's all of the anti-vehicle Lassie has. Double cap now though. 
Okay, it's really solidified in the mid. Warlock doing a lot of work with this Witchblade now. And Autark has made a big difference. Something else for Olev's backline to worry about. But now we have a Carnifex in play. We'll see what Lassie can do about that. Banshee's on the Western Contested Power. What's going on mid? Raven Alpha being a nuisance. Almost wiping out a Dire Avenger squad. That Toxic Miasma is pretty good. Kills another one there. Carnifex is trying to defend the power. Right Lance got a full bash. Level 3 now, this thing. We have a Barb Strangler Carnivex. Scary, scary weapon. It's a big alien plasma cannon that can suppress you, basically. Banshees are looking for tunnels, and they found one. They should deal with it pretty quick. Does it give you XP? It does. Level them to two. And you get like 15 red, I think. One more shot. Might have killed that entire squad. They didn't retreat there. 186 to 321. Do we have fusion gone in a way? Nope. Can't remember if that's gone back to tier 3 or not. Wraith Lord it is for Lassia. Can tie up the Carnifex and do a lot of damage in the meantime. Especially if you're going to be tied up in the firing arc of a Bright Lance, of course. Portok goes for the decap and should be able to get it safely. Maybe. Paying attention, Lassia? Yes, you are. Portok gets away. Here comes some Eldar pushing the west side, sensing a little bit of weakness with the Carnifex not here. Warlock gets straight on the Warriors. Does get crippled, but it's back on them now. Ravana, Ravana Alpha with a borrow strike, maybe. Not sure what he's waiting for. There we go. He's maybe trying to micro those Formagaunts. Distortion field on the Banshees there. Global of the Warlock. Really went for it here. There's that Toxic Miasma doing its thing. Good special. Carnifex moving into support. Banshees might be able to finish him off. Grenade goes in. Very close. They did kill a couple of Banshees there, I think. They do escape, though. 12 hit points on those ladies. But the Carnifex spoils the party with his big old Barb Strangler. Where's that Wraith Lord at? Here it is. Going for the shoulder mounted Bright Lance, as you'd expect, to fight this Carnifex here. Poor Tuck. Maybe trying to get in there and tie it up. No, it's going for the Raveners. Wraith Lord is chasing. Boom. First attack goes in. And a second. And the other Bright Lance is getting shots in here. Is this Carnifex down? It's not moving. It's not turning away. It might be bugged. There is a bug where you use lose control of your walker. There's the Thorax Swarm, was it? Yes. Oh, that's what it was waiting for. Olaf was waiting for the Warrior Brood to get in to do that, I think. Very, very risky. Anything could happen to those guys as they were coming in. And this Carnifex is still not leaving. Corrosive Devourer now for the Raven Alpha. Trying to fight this Wraith Lord and kill it before the Carnifex goes down. And does barely. Carnifex is six hit points. I don't think the Warlock's meant to finish it off. It goes down. Did the Ethereal Slash finish it off? I think it did. I think the Ethereal Slash finished it off there. That was pretty awesome. Traded the Carnifex for the Wraith Lord. I think that was a pretty decent trade. And the Ravenna Alpha had to change weapon to do that. More Ravenna's being called in. 1, 2, 2 to 3, 2, 1. Lassia being much more aggressive here in tier 3. Grenades miss. Doing a lot of damage to the Ravenna's though. Try and keep these guys moving maybe. Nope, just getting into combat. Autoc flies in. And those guys almost went down immediately. What level are these Hormogots now? Level 2 still. And Ravenna Alpha also went down, which I didn't see. Everything died. Tier 3 now for Lassia. See a council, maybe. 
Fire Prism might be risky against a anti-vehicle Raven Alpha who can tunnel through rock. Level 7 too, this guy. 95 to 3, 2, 1, 1 to 1 cap. Termigants will try and cap the mid. Spawn mines cannot cap. Bright Lance going for another power bash, but there's nothing here to bash, fellas. They'll be disappointed, won't they? They can decap it, I suppose. Kicking off in the mid, good special by the Autoc. Spawn mines get a detonation on their own termigants, but also get all the pesky Eldar stuff. Yeah, just hit them down. Spawn mine explosion isn't super, super scary these days. Very much supplementary damage. Did that not suppress these guys? That was weird. Barb Trangler seemed to hit those banshees. Is it because they... There we go. Does the uh, Autark give them suppression resistance? With a jump buff thing, maybe? Level 3 Dire Avengers. Cap the mid. There's the 2 to 1 for Lassia. Has got a lot of VPs to make up, though. Olav has tons of red. Could stop a cap with the final formation. And Lassia also has a nuke available. When Tyranids blob up like this, very tempting to nuke them down, especially when there's synapse creatures in there who start to explode and do those lovely synapse bombs. Warlock. Getting Providence up. Has found some termigants and they aren't going to last long. Trying to just get a decap, I think. But couldn't quite manage it. Lassia needs to come in. Uh, sorry, Olev needs to come in as one, I think. Not in dribs and drabs like that. There's no reason, really, to try and rush that cap of the VP with the termigants. You've got a lot of VPs here. Time to get tense, I suppose, and always make the best decisions. This could be a dicey fight for the Ravener here. Because these are low level Raveners. These are level 3 Banshees and a decked out Warlock. Immediately switches Providence for Cloak of Shadows here. This is still no power over here. Olev is seems to be bleeding quite a lot of quite a lot of the requisition after every fight. Trying to take back the VP off this Autark. There we go. Got rid of her eventually. Now they need to recap. Warlock with his retinue of banshees to mess things up over here. The jump. Knocks back, I think, nearly like seven of the eight Termigants there, I think. Got knocked over by the leap. Power melee weapon against the Warriors. I don't like it. I guess the Crippling was used on the Banshees. I hear an Eldritch. There it is. Banshees live through it. Yes, they do. WTF, says Olev. What happened? What did I miss? What was that nuke even on? I don't know. Olive is just as confused as I am. One to one cap here. Bortuck can jump on these fellas, yep. Try and take out a warrior. Good special. Can't quite get one. Those guys ran away, yes they did. Still a one to one cap. Lassie, I think. Can get back on the mid here. Or Tark mixing it up. Venom Brood on the field for Olev. Some nice range synapse for these Ravenous and stuff. There it is. Termigants will also benefit. Or Tark gets a spear. Where's that Warlock? In the webway. Here we go. Lassier always in a much better shape when the Warlock is out here. There's a walk throw into some power swords. Torn formation now by Olev. 
Banshee trying to kill a warrior. Trying to formation didn't actually do a whole lot. Took out the webway, I suppose. And got the Dara Vendors off the field. Maybe just uh, use it to try and save the Venom Brood, I think. But I believe they would have got away. Ravenna Alpha is down. Maybe that's what the WTF for was for that loss, maybe. I was very, I'm very confused still about that Eldritch Storm. Now the Banshees will get XP by taking out Tornado Formation Towers. Wait, do they even give XP? They don't. Give you six red though. Another webway goes up. In pretty much exactly the same place. Some free red. Warlock. How much does this cost? I don't know how much energy the warp throw costs. I'm not sure if the warlock can destruct her and warp throw and Ethereal Slash all in the same fight with 140 energy. There's the Ethereal Slash. Seems to cost a whole lot of energy there. Banshee's getting in. There's then Synapse Bombs. Olev having a really tough time approaching Lassia's forces here. Banshees are going to live, I believe. There's the warp throw again. Beautifully done. And now the warlock get in there. Slicing up those ravenous too. Grenade goes in. Olev, I think, should have got another Carnifex up instead of dropping that second Ravenna Brood. Has given him tons of upkeep. And they're bleeding. Look at that. He's dropping many models per fight here. More Ravenous? No, it's a uh, without number thing. Yes, without number thing. It drops upgraded Hormagaunts and upgraded Termagants. Pretty nice global. Not sure if this was the time for it because Lassia is kind of mincing through infantry here. Dark Creepers on the way. Bright Lance was destroyed at some point. I didn't see that. Why would I see things? Providence is up. Gives the Warlock super crazy energy region, as you can see. Also reduces the cooldown of the Warlock's abilities to almost nothing. So you can just go mental. And you're invulnerable, of course. Just causing havoc here, this guy. Eventually, Olev deals with the Warlock. Can maybe cap them in. Lassie has been on 95 VPs for ages here. Power is now completely decapped, which is what maybe got the Bright Lance killed. Dark Creepers can try and target the Warriors and the Venom Brood. Are the Venom Broods even still up? I don't know if they are. Warrior Brood are oh, level 3, they're still up. Decent grenade. Lassia kind of throws her forces at Olev's and comes out on top here more often than not. You can now cap the mid, maybe. Or talk. There we go. Oh, Banshees maybe get a decap on a natural too. And that was, I believe, yeah, that was without the Dark Reapers in play. That fight. Could get a Fire Prism now. I think that would be a decent choice. Even with this level 8 Ravenna. Because now Lassie has a whole bunch of dangerous stuff to throw at it. I still like Seer Council though hitting the field. There's the cap, there's the double. 78 to 142 for Olev still in the lead. Shield's going up now. As Indrid takes a drink. Dark Creepers stand there behind one, yep. There's that Inferno PvP damage coming in. And they have their aspect. Warlock backing away there for some reason. Here he comes. Ravenna Alpha going for the cap. Good specials by the Raveners there. That was pretty clutch. Ortok getting in on the Ravenna Alpha. This guy's level 8. And of course, since he's capping, he's not being tied up here. Which is mildly interesting. 
Down go those ravenous. Again, Olev unable to approach Lassia's forces efficiently here. This Warlock is a terror. Ortuk has been awesome since she hit the field. She's almost level 4. Almost have a thousand hit points as well. Just trying to keep them away from the mid here now, Lassia. Maybe get a decap on the natural as well, I think she's going for. Alright, those weird Tyranid base turrets. That's knock you over. Oh, you're not capping, fellas. Misplay by Lassia there. Here's Providence. Warp throw into Ethereal Slash. Oh, I didn't get a kill on the warrior though. It's another warp throw. And another Ethereal Slash. And again. Not sure. I'll oh, killed one model, I think. Certainly kept them away from the middle. Was that a lone Hormagaunt trying to cap there? I think maybe it was. Olev is not far away from getting the Carnifex up. I believe they're 600, 160 these days. There we go. They're 600, 150 these days. Ten less than I thought. There's some cheap Carnifexes. Avatar on the way though for Lassia. Lassia in, in control here, I believe. Very much so. Olaf having a tough time. Last seven to eight minutes or so. Fighting Lassia's stuff. It's hard to pick targets when Eldar is in your face immediately. With the Autark jumping on you, the Warlock leaping on you. Throwing spells and crap at your face. And of course Banshee's getting in there too. Carnifex may be a thorn back to engage the Banshees and such in melee. Keep things away from the back line, maybe. No upgrade yet, I don't think. Yeah, might not have quite enough power to get an upgrade. There's crazy tusks on front of it. Could have a headbutt move. I want a headbutt animation for the Carnifex. Having another go here is Olev going for the decap. Ravenous strike in, but again a little bit isolated there. I guess they had to get that disruption somehow. Here comes the Carnifex. No upgrade yet. The Warlock again making the difference here. Going after the Warriors as a Synapse Bomb and another. And now the Avatar hits the field. And Lassie has a VP lead. And should have this game so not now, I think. The Warlock has made has made the difference. Has really made the difference. Despite those Banshee losses. The Warlock carrying the weight. Level 9 this guy. Not that the Raven has all been bad. Level 8 this fella. When it was melee, it was doing a lot more work, I feel like. There's a 2 to 1 for Lassia. Carnifex getting beaten down by an Avatar. Avatar leaves it alone since it knows the Carnifex can't cap the VP. Termigants are taken out. The 2 to 1 continues. Poor Termigants. Super, super dead. Carnifex roars. Hormagot sneak into the mid. What is all this green crap? Must have been another without number global going off at some point. Eldritch on base. Warlock being a massive pain in the ass here. Holding up all these guys. And drops a nuke. One to one. Hormagaunts. Finish the cap on the mid. There's the two to one for Olev. I don't think it's going to last very long though. There's still an avatar over here. Fine effects will be dealt with. There we go. I'm not, I don't think there is a sync kill between the avatar and the fine effects. Maybe there is. Should behead it or something. That'd be awesome. 
and then throw its head as a grenade. Autark made a massive difference since it hit the field. In fact, that was like the turning point and those third Banshees came out and we were wondering how are these guys going to stay alive then? Autark came into support and did an amazing job. And there's a GG. Oh, left fighting to the end. And fought hard. But there's a victory for Lassio. There it is. A level 10 Warlock. The Warlock and the Autark, I think, MVPs. Ravenna level 8 at the end, I believe, had the Devourer out. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.